Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by l j Electrical Contractors. Their trained residential service technicians always deliver prompt, effective solutions to ensure a job well done. Call John at 609-703-7413 to schedule your appointment today. Hi everybody, meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. I hope you are enjoying your absolutely beautiful Friday. We're taking a live look out at Ocean City right now down towards the surf mall over the boardwalk. People are bundled up. You can see a couple of jackets and some beanies on people's heads, but it does look beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine. Really a great opportunity to uh, soak up some of that sun that has been across our area for really the past couple of days. We're going to see one more beautiful day on the way before we start to see some more active weather. Again, temperatures got all the way up into the mid 50s today. That is above average, but it's really just a nice treat for our uh, kind of little mid-December stretch that we're in right now. Like I said, uh, mid-50s for not only down the shore, but even closer towards the city. You're back up around 56 uh, towards Philadelphia, 58 down towards Washington. So really most of the Northeast is really seeing a very beautiful day out there. Looking forward to the next couple of hours. We'll cool down a little bit after sunset, but overall it really looks to be a pretty mild night ahead. Not too cool out there, and we're tracking one more nice day on the way before we see some more active weather move in for the second half of the weekend. So here's a look at our current setup. We have a big cold front that is sweeping its way across the Midwest. That's going to be arriving on our area uh, uh, during the day on Sunday. That also happens to coincide with the low pressure that's down towards the Carolinas. What's going to happen is that low that's uh, sitting down to the south is going to use that cold front almost as a conveyor belt to sweep up across our area, bringing with it uh, some heavy rain and even a little bit of some stronger wind gusts, very similar to what we saw last weekend. We are seeing a risk for some flooding as well, so do keep that in mind. Timing for everything, well, Sunday starts off dry, but as we head into the afternoon, we'll start to see some scattered showers, and then it's really during the late half of the day and into the overnight hours that we start to see the widespread uh, heavy rain and the stronger wind gusts begin to move in for the second half of your Sunday. By Monday, we're looking drier, but also a little bit cooler. So as far as the expected rainfall intensity, this is almost a carbon copy of what we saw yesterday. Again, spotty showers in the morning, and then really the activity just sort of ramps up into the late afternoon and into the evening. Rainfall totals widespread. Uh, spots will be seeing about two to two and a half inches, so there might even be a little bit more moisture with this system than what we saw for last weekend, but uh, the effects and the impacts are going to be really pretty similar, so definitely a soaker on the way. We could still use it though. We have been dry. I, a last week's storm did put a nice healthy dent in things, but we could use even a little bit more moisture, so we'll get that uh, kind of moving in for this weekend. So here's a look at the wind gust. Again, by Sunday afternoon, Already a breeze kind of kicking up across the area. You can see those wind gusts upwards of about 20 miles an hour. And then the wind's just going to kind of continue to build through the afternoon and into the evening. It, once again, the spots where we're going to see the stronger wind gusts, that's going to be kind of southeast. So down towards Cane May, stretching up towards almost Tuckerton, Atlantic City. That's where you're going to see those stronger wind gusts upwards of maybe 45 to 50 miles an hour. So definitely uh, wind is going to be knocking for the overnight hours and into early Monday. And then slowly conditions will improve as that low kind of cools away. I would say maybe late afternoon, evening Monday is when you're going to start to see the wind really begin to die down. There is a potential for some coastal flooding. Again, it looks minor at this time, but if you uh, live on one of those streets that's prone to flooding, you might want to move those cars overnight uh, Sunday even into Monday. Maybe pull them into a driveway or move them somewhere where you know the water doesn't really tend to rise as much. Overnight tonight, not too bad. Clear skies. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a chilly out there. <laughs> the temperatures dropping down into the 20s and 30s, but overall really not too bad. Tomorrow's still going to be beautiful, so the first half of your weekend will be a nice treat. We're still in the 50s. A couple extra clouds compared to today, but still looking uh, really, really nice. Again, Sunday starts off already cloudy. The rain kind of builds in during the day and into the evening. Monday starts off a little rainy, but then conditions will slowly improve. And then midweek, we're looking pretty good with some sunshine on the way. Temperatures do stay in the 40s for next week, though. Again, after we see that low kind of move away, we'll see the colder air wrap around and arrive during the day on Tuesday. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon. I'll be checking in with you later on this evening.